Hi, it's Heather, and I'm sick. <laughs> so being sick sucks, but there's still a few fun things that you can do while you're sick, and I'm gonna give you a list of those so you have something to do while you're hacking along out. You can always watch movies or Netflix. It's a good excuse to lay home and be lazy. You can wear your PJs and you don't have to do your hair. You can look like poo because you're sick. If you're really sick, you can miss school or for me, work for a day, which is, you know, almost worth it. And when you're sick, you can get out of chores. I mean, you're sick, you can't do dishes or take out the trash. You have to lay down and be cuddled up with all of your stuffed friends and a warm blanket, which I have like 30 of. You have no time for chores. When my boyfriend watches this, I'm sorry, but I'm sick. <coughs> you can cough up a lung. That's a thing that you get to do a lot. You can try to make baskets with all your nasty tissues and your trash can can look like this. You can see how far you can spit all the mucus you're coughing up. That's always fun. But I suggest you do that, you know, in, in the bathroom or something because otherwise it's not fun. Or maybe outside where you don't have to clean it up. If you really want to have fun with people, you can just go out in public and start coughing and watch all the faces that people give you. I've gotten a few of those in the last couple days. Or if you're a weirdo like I am, you can always tell when I'm sick because I will start making spit bubbles because I can't breathe and anytime my mouth is open, like I have to breathe through my mouth, I just automatically start making spit bubbles and most of the time it just looks like this. though when you're sick <coughs> get lots of rest and eat soup or drink tea and drink lots of water so you stay hydrated try not to spread your germs you know cover your cough or cough into your arm or, and make sure you wash your hands a lot which is annoying but being sick sucks <laughs> and you don't want to spread it to everybody else especially the people you love even though they're probably gonna get it anyway and be very grateful to you for it but most importantly feel better you can smell your fake flowers because then you don't have to feel bad because they don't have a scent anyway it's not like you could smell them <laughs>